Okay, now we will move into the uh, section called rubber industry education. In this rubber industry education, today we have a special uh, you know, session out of this one under rubber industry education, um, focusing on the government polytechnic Mumbai. And they're offering the diploma program, uh, rubber technology diploma program. First of all, I'd like to thank um, uh, Professor Sunil Srivastava. He, when I ask him, hey, I'd like to know about the program, what kind of things happening at the Government Polytechnic Mumbai, shortly called GPM. And uh, he suggests that, why don't we listen from uh, all of me? And I uh, you know, so I'm pleased to invite uh, Mr. Uh, you know, Mr. Karthi Sankar is uh, actually alumni. He finished his uh, diploma in rubber technology at the uh, Government Polytechnic Mumbai. And first, uh, I asked him to make a presentation, his point of view about the GPM3 rubber technology diploma program. Let's look at the, his program, his presentation on the uh, rubber technology diploma program. Good evening and warm welcome everyone. Myself Karthi Shankar, proud alumni of Government Polytechnic Mumbai, presently partner of Sarvan Carbochem LLP. I take this opportunity to thank Government Polytechnic Mumbai and our professor Mr. Srivastava for giving me an opportunity to present diploma course in rubber technology. And I also thank Mr. Param of Technobis for this initiative. Government Polytechnic Mumbai is an autonomous institute established in 1960. GPM is visionary to take the students to compete on global level with the help of our highly qualified and experienced faculties along with excellent infrastructure. Humble beginning in 1960 at Elphinstone Tech School in Dobitala, Mumbai with 60 intake in civil engineering. Existing campus acquired in 1985. Electronics engineering and instrumentation courses were started in 1988. Mechanical in 1989, Computer Engineering in 1992. Diplomo Rubber Technology was introduced in 1999 with the help of All India Rubber Industries Association. The Government Institute of Leather Technology was merged in the Polytechnic as a Department of Leather Technology in 2003. Government Polytechnic Mumbai vision is to transform the knowledge into work. Government Polytechnic Mumbai is committed to quality education, need-based education programs and outcome-based curriculum development. Government Polytechnic Mumbai is currently offering civil engineering, computer engineering, electrical engineering, electronics engineering, information technology, instrumentation, leather technology, mechanical engineering, science and humanities with rubber technology. Diploma in Rubber Technology is a unique course only in Maharashtra in association with All India Rubber Industries Association. This program is approved by MSBTE and DTE and also AICTE recognized. Eligibility to join Diploma in Rubber Technology is post SSC or post HSC 12th Science. Vision of uh, Rubber Technology course in Government Polytechnic Mumbai is to promote sustainable development of students for the rubber industry. Our mission is to create a need-based curriculum and enhance the linkage between the industry and the institution. Government Polytechnic remain alert to grasp modern technology through experimental learning. Government Polytechnic Mumbai intake 30 seats for the diploma in rubber technology, plus two seats are through tuition fees waiver scheme, eight seats are for HSE passed out. There are six semesters, five semesters in classroom teaching and six semester in plant training in the industry. We have uh, highly qualified uh, teaching staffs and the experts from the Indian rubber industries, ultra modern classrooms with well equipped laboratories, which we'll brief in the coming slides. Hostel accommodation are available only for boys. Scholarship for deserving candidates is available from All India Rubber Industry Association and Government of Maharashtra. First class diploma holders can join second year degree program in related field of engineering and technology as per DTE norms. Testing facilities are the key to the success of uh, the final rubber components and uh, GPM is well equipped with the chemical testing and physical testing laboratory. 
This is our mixing and uh, molding facility for uh, hands-on experience on mixing of the rubber compounds and also the molding the compound. So it gives good uh, information about how the shop floor works. Dr. Ashok Prabhu is having 40 years of experience in the rubber industry. Mr. Amit is working in CHI Sambarnath and has over 7 years of experience in this field. Dr. Amul Naikwadi has a teaching experience of around 4 years. Mr. Sunil Kumar Srivastava has an experience of around 36 years in the rubber industry. First semester and second semester covers the basics of any course we learn. It consists of communications, maths, physics, chemistry and a brief introduction to polymer science. I'd say these two semesters are the heart of rubber technology. It covers from the mold design till the testing of rubber components, which is very critical for a product to perform in the actual field. Fifth semester covers latex technology, quality control and also rubber product manufacturing with some insights over thermoplastic rubber and engineering plastics. Sixth semester is implant training in the industry. This helps the students to learn and understand and execute what they learned in the last five semesters. Our students are offered to train themselves in various types of the rubber industries. We are supported by tire industries, technical labs, conveyor belts, bladder manufacturing companies, rubber sheeting companies and different kind of rubber component manufacturers. 100% placement in companies after successful completion of diploma rubber technology. Tire companies, non-tire companies, raw material manufacturers, technical lab, hire our candidates after successful completion. The list of companies are just outlined here for reference. There is a good prospect after completing diploma in rubber technology. Our students either move to higher studies or uh, work with the rubber industry or start their own business or support their uh, family business in rubber. Thank you all uh, for your valuable time uh, and it was indeed pleasure presenting a diploma in rubber technology course in Government Polytechnic Mumbai. Let's transform knowledge into work. Thank you. Okay, that's a good presentation on the you know, diploma program in the rubber technology at the Government Polytechnic Mumbai. Okay, let's welcome uh, Mr. Karthi Shankar. He's a partner with Sharban Carbokim. Karthi, please come forward. So welcome to the Rubber Industry News Server. Thank you for Thank joining. You. Thank you, Mr. Peram. Thank you for this opportunity. Thanks a lot. Actually, it's my, uh, you know, I usually see the presentations about uh, their own departments, whether professors or their uh, maybe class leader talks about their own, but it's a uh, pretty unique uh, to bring the alumni of the Institute to come forward and talk about the, you know, uh, these old, old times, I can say, right? Yeah, that's true because it's almost uh, 15, 16 years now I passed out uh, from Government Polytechnic. So when I did the presentation, it took me back to those days and um, it, it was a very critical uh, learning of my career. I got to know about rubber uh, from that institute. I learned a lot from that institute and got a chance to opportunity to work with uh, many uh, leading industrialists uh, during my college days. So I thought when uh, Mr. Srivastava asked me that uh, whether uh, you can do it, I said, uh, sir, ab ab absolutely I'll uh, do that. And uh, it's my privilege to do uh, on behalf of Government Polytechnic. So that's how uh, it came into picture. Yeah, it is really kind. Uh, sincere thanks to Mr. Srivastava to let you do the presentation because that's also, it's very interesting for me to host an alumni instead of a professor or a student to talk about their own departments you know so so you you finished your program 15 years ago yeah is it yeah, right in uh, in 2005 i've completed uh, a diploma rubber technology from government polytechnic then immediately in uh, after completion of my course i joined uh, sepulcher brothers uh, india private limited in 2005 itself uh, i did not even uh, wait for one month time after completion, I immediately joined there. Yeah. So it's an immediate replacement, I mean, so it's super. So yeah. you are visiting, are you visiting on a regular basis, uh, GPM? 
I, I, I was there. Alumni get together, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, we do have a alumni meet and uh, I visited uh, two times as an external examiner and mm -hmm. uh, I was I was got an uh, opportunity to discuss with the students uh, that time because all this opportunity was created by Mr. Sunil Srivastava and uh, mm -hmm. he told me that uh, they must they must get to know uh, the students uh, from the government polytechnic where they are presently there and uh, they also get some feel of how this industry will be in future yeah. so so it, it was a good opportunity for me to visit them and uh, raising few questions on their external exam so it it was uh, very nice to discuss with the people as well it's a, it's a nice that you know in, in alumni is actually involved you know it's, it's good for the students and uh, what industries you know you you groom the students to be ready for the you know industry requirements yeah i that, think uh, that's right yes yeah. yes and uh, you basically from south you know yeah i India, i actually yeah? Yeah. yeah i completed my higher secondary uh, in coimbatore uh, tamil nadu then uh, i got an opportunity to go to uh, government polytechnic mumbai for rubber technology then uh, after completion there, I got a job in Mumbai itself. So I remained in Mumbai for um, 12 years. Well, then, I think uh, you, you are basically from Tamil Nadu. So you, I, I doubt your, you know, your, your skills in Hindi language you know, going into Mumbai, you know, with all everybody speaks Hindi. Um, and Tamil Nadu, I think they have a little bit reservation about speaking Hindi. So how did you manage? You know, when you uh, yeah. No, no. When I when I went to uh, government polytechnic Mumbai, I was not knowing uh, Hindi. Obviously, mm -hmm. I was not even uh, knowing a few words as well. So I I was interacting uh, with the students in the college in the hostel. So I used to uh, get in touch with them, uh, get uh, meanings of uh, those words. Then I started uh, speaking a little bit. Then uh, it's after uh, five, six years time, I completely learned Hindi and uh, started communicating with the industry people and with the shop floor workers. So I, I got a bit to know about <laughs> Hindi language. So it was it was very nice learning. So the students are from the different parts of India. So it is uh, yeah, it, all over from, India. Uh, Yes, ka from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. So uh, we had all, ty all, all type of students there and uh, the hostel was uh, like fully uh, different kind of languages. So we used to get in together with the Hindi and uh, we got a lot of learning during the discussion and uh, chit chats and all. So that was good. I think it's also nice that when you have a student from the different parts of the India, you get the social uh, togetherness, you know, understanding, respecting each other, not just yeah. only the rubber materials, but also working together as a team. Uh, so that's yeah. a nice environment. Yeah, is it right? Yeah. 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 In, in addition, uh, when you are in a hostel and uh, you have other departments also, like electronics, uh, electrical, mechanical, uh, rubber, like these are all linked to the rubber industry. So we, we even uh, at present, we are in touch with a few of our colleagues in uh, other departments also to get some support to complete uh, our rubber industry fully. So, so that helps a lot, like interacting with uh, the students and remain in uh, touch with them helps a lot. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, the, probably, you know, now the diploma in rubber technology, B-Tech in rubber technology, M-Tech in rubber technology. As you finish uh, diploma in rubber technology, um, yes. how do you see the the growth in you know in career development? See, basically, it is the interest of the student uh, coming out from the college, like uh, how interested he is to explore his uh, career, and um, like uh, there are a few people uh, try to jump. Uh, from one industry to other industry to gain uh, more knowledge, but uh, that that actually does not help. So if if we can remain in industry, focus on uh, certain product lines, and remain uh, thoughtful on developing uh, certain applications, etc., that helps a lot uh, for me. So I I remained in a company for almost 11, 12 years. I worked with uh, different kind of products that helped me help me a lot so whenever i meet uh, my government polytechnic students or uh, when i interview my uh, 
own students for my company so i tell them the same thing that you remain in own company for um, work for a longer time and explore uh, the product lines application so that our industry can grow so i think so it, it may remain to say that it's equal opportunities whether you are in btech or diploma or whether it is mtech but if you focus you grow you learn and the opportunities are there to grow is it right it's it's, yeah. it's always you can see successful people from uh, diploma also you can uh, see different uh, application developments from the diploma holders so it's not uh, only with uh, diploma we, we can't do anything we can do many things uh, it's only a constant learning so we have to put ourselves in the field uh, we try to learn uh, many things from the experts there are uh, we we get into touch with lot of iit uh, people and we learn lot of things from uh, iit so only through interactions uh, we gain a lot of knowledge they are, they are highly knowledgeable because they exposed to a lot of um, industries and lot of application developments so we we can uh, gather knowledge from them and uh, work on our field that's nothing wrong in it and uh, we can grow even uh, after the completion of diploma yeah. i think the diploma in rubber technology is a very important program for industries you know even you want a supervisor so shop floor level they are the ones the right people to hire compared to the, you know and, uh, and every industry runs by these you know the shop floor people shop floor means you're not on the you know labor we're talking about supervisors foremen you know or, and it's, it's very important to program i think that for the rubber industry you know, for the diploma side as as a person i work in industry i also have btech but i always look at the diploma as one of the very unique programs especially specialization you know so yeah that's really true that uh, we get lot of opportunities like uh, we can uh, uh, we can be in a testing field we can be in the production field uh, we can be in uh, like marketing field we can also uh, do compounding so it depends on the opportunity and again uh, it depends on um, how you put yourself uh, in that field like i i preferred uh, compounding i i allowed to do compounding so when i got an opportunity to into marketing so i got a lot of indian rubber industry people who allowed me to do take trials uh, with my formulations with uh, my compounds so uh, it it gives like uh, some pleasure like to uh, get a lot of uh, knowledge from the chemicals and uh, using the compounds uh, appropriately for developing a right product so you, you, when you compare your your education 15 years ago and now the how much is the difference now in so it's it, it's a lot of difference a lot of difference because uh, see uh, before 15 years uh, uh, we were having very limited uh, information about uh, fluoroelastomers and uh, perfluoroelastomers uh, it was not there so uh, it it was like uh, we were studying about uh, natural rubber to the highest synthetic rubber neoprene uh, we were studying only uh, the fluoroelastomer etc were in the just for the sake of uh, the polymer so now uh, the people are getting to know more about uh, the synthetic elastomers uh, fluoroelastomers perfluoroelastomers peroxide cure polymers so they get a lot of uh, information in the current scenario and they try uh, like uh, now internet is very much available and like uh, if they try to watch a lot of um, seminars webinars coming into the um, online modem it it gives a lot of additional information for them to learn so i would say it was not there for us uh, 15 years back uh, there were no uh, uh, such seminars we were just waiting for indian rubber expo to happen and uh, some uh, iri uh, seminars to happen so uh, that's not there now though so they get lot of opportunity to learn so so the quality of the students for coming out from the gvm is now in a good position because they have a lot of access to the information Uh, yes, i think yes, the yes. facilities wise also you have more facilities infrastructure you know in in the the, the testing or equipment or machinery you have is it right yeah. yes right and main resource is books like uh, you you have a good uh, books available in the rubber, rubber technology department right now uh, when uh, we were there uh, there are only a few books and uh, that's a key books for us also like compounding or uh, for testing of the rubbers uh, polymer science etc but now the number of books also increased and if the 
students are willing to study uh, in the lab and um, uh, get to know about uh, the things it's like uh, giving them additional opportunity for learning so I, I would say i would say then uh, new students coming out of government polytechnic uh, the their knowledge is encouraging yeah. okay. and you yourself you know you own the company sarvan carbochem and you hired a two student i think come some of the students are working for you as, as yeah, staff already, now yes. yeah yeah i already have two people uh, in my team now okay, yeah they are mainly good. into marketing Okay, super. No, so, we, will, uh, no, we'll, we will hire more uh, for the down, uh, down the line. We'll hire more. Super, super. So they're doing yeah. well with you? Yeah. Yeah, they're doing very well. They are doing a good job, and uh, I'm uh, as a as alumni or as well as I'm the uh, development uh, means I'm the marketing man of the company. So I give them a chance to explore their knowledge, and also I get to know from them um, what they want to uh, learn from outside. So it's an equal opportunity for me and for them also to get to know more about rubber. Yeah, super, super. So. Yeah. You start. You worked for eleven years, or how many years? You worked for eleven years. You started a company. What uh, made uh, you to establish yourself? You got uh, what's the no, driving uh, force? <laughs> no, basically, if I would have uh, uh, remained in uh, Sepulchre Brothers, I would have retired uh, from Sepulchre Brothers. I would not have jumped to any other company. But it was sure. really unfortunate uh, that uh, they they had to. shut down the operations uh, for many reasons so i thought and uh, one of my uh, colleague in sepulkar brothers uh, partner my current partner mr jay venkatesh thought we put together form a company and um, try to do all those business we were doing in last 11 years so that's how uh, servan was born and uh, we got a team of uh, sepulkar brothers where uh, we were there and it started from there so what kind of product line you are doing uh, what kind of service uh, products you are offering to the at, industry at, at present we represent a few overseas companies for their uh, products for exclusive distributorship in india and one of them is performance reduce malaysia for their processing additives and uh, we have uh, thermax n990 from cancab limited canada uh, hmm. we have uh, mold release agents from munch chemi international germany and we have uh, silane coupling agents from uh, harley technochem uh, singapore and we have uh, a nitrile pvc from nantex taiwan so we had uh, similar kind of uh, products for the rubber industry so we import it we stock it and uh, we do service with the indian rubber industry so you are not are you only focus on the rubber you also have any other profile like a plastics or coatings i, I, I also have i also have uh, applications in plastics uh, we are developing something in coatings uh, we explore yeah. also in thermoplastic uh, uh, we also have in uh, fluorothermoplastics and uh, polytetrafluoroethylene market because we we had an opportunity to work uh, for those industry also in the past so we are trying to explore everything and um, remain focused on rubber uh, that's our majority but still uh, not leaving any new applications that can uh, get into our company oh, super man super you are the best example of a graduate from the ngpm mumbai proud uh, alumni is it said right? <laughs> no no there are uh, too many people from my uh, college and uh, they are running their own business uh, since i i was available and uh, i thought myself can uh, do justice to gpm so i voluntarily asked mr shivas so i'll do it otherwise uh, some of my other friends could have joined uh, here to uh, do this job oh man well, well it's really great to see you guys you know um, presenting for the gpm and also doing a good uh, it's a good business or continuing to you know whatever you're learning pass on the what you learn to your students again you know educating them empower them so that they're ready for the you know industry that's um, Uh, that's very very nice of you guys you know and i think the the, the professors like sri vasava or some you know dr prabhu uh, it's it's a real combo eh? nice combo yeah. with the uh, nice, nice combo my... yeah I, we uh, we learned lot when because they were in the industry they were facing right. the problems like right. they know what the problem is there currently in the molding or mixing or in the testing so we used to get a lot of uh, hints from them um, about how the issues were solved so it was like uh, the experienced people in the faculty helps a lot 
and that too from uh, the industry that helps mm -hmm. a lot uh, in learning mm -hmm. super super well, you know, uh, Karthi is nice to know about you and, you know, your experience at the GPM. Any advice to the students who are currently undergoing the diploma program in rubber technology? The, oh, I'll, I'll, as I'll, alumni, I'll just, as a businessman for, you know, rubber industry, yeah. Not, uh, not advice. Uh, I feel uh, that everyone has to... Uh, create an interest uh, in rubber because rubber is like it's like a resource like uh, you can explore many things in rubber industry it's rubber has no end you can l create uh, or uh, keep on developing new applications from the rubber like uh, technop is also uh, sometime back launched a new application development in natural rubber you came with a seminar so uh, there there are many new things happening across the world we can uh, implement it we can learn from there and we create new applications. So this is this is where our uh, students are required in the future. Like uh, we cannot just keep on doing uh, molding, mixing, and uh, testing. So one has to create some uh, base and then come out of the industry, create some revolution in the rubber industry in the future. That it's already many people have done it in the past. Many we have a lot of experts from the Indian rubber industry, but still the students when they come out, they remain focused and. Uh, think of uh, developing some new applications and uh, new product lines that will create a lot of help for the Indian uh, industry also. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm sure that they do well, all the GPM students. It's nice to know about the GPM. I'm, I'm very much honored uh, to host GPM program in this rubber industry news server and as well as you as the alumni of the GPM. Uh, thank you for joining Karthi uh, and also special thanks to Mr. Srivastava uh, for um, having the GPM story in this uh, program today. Yeah, thanks thank a lot. You. Thank you, Mr. Puram. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, so that's about the, you know, the GPM uh, story. You know, if you are if you are planning to send your children or want to study rubber technology, of course, if they don't they don't have a time for the four years, there's a diploma program, a rubber technology diploma program at the Government Polytechnic Mumbai. I think as you, as you see, Karthi has mentioned how he enjoyed the time, even from south and moved to the Mumbai, he settled down. He, and now he is doing well as an entrepreneur, uh, serving the rubber, rubber entire industry. So it's a great story, and um, I wish that all the students do well in their careers and uh, their, you know, their studies as well. Um, thanks once again, Karthi and Mr. Srivastava, to be part of this rubber industry news over today.